What's up guys? So, um, I'm coming at you with a gym bag review. Um, it's currently 10.51 at night. And I'm still up grinding on YouTube, trying to edit and uh, make some videos so I have some content to post daily because I don't do a workout every day. So on Monday, because Sunday I'll have a video for from Saturday's workout, but for Monday, because I won't have a video from Sunday's workout, I gotta have something to post. So I'm coming at you with a gym bag review. Um, I'm just gonna go through my gym bag and go through things that I have in there, state the reason why, kind of why I like them, why I have them. Uh, so the first thing is, I'm just gonna show you my gym bag here. I use a Harley Davidson uh, duffel bag just to carry my stuff. I've it's nice, big, you can use whatever bag you want. They make backpack ones, they make ones that hold your shoes, they make ones with uh, built-in charging ports, all sort of things like that. But I just, I'm simple, we had a Harley Davidson one left over, we don't really use much, so I use that. So the first thing, and one of the most important things that you should have, is you should have some kind of bottle for water, whether it's a blender bottle, um, an igloo bottle, um, a Yeti bottle, anything that holds water and ice. Um, just because you want to stay hydrated and anything like that throughout your workout. Um, I use this for pre-workout. I, I use this bottle for everything. I have like four or five of these things. Whenever I see a good deal on them, I just buy them. Just to have them. I have little ones. This is my biggest one. This one's huge. Holds like five cups of water. Um, but they, uh, pretty much anything to keep some form of liquid in. The second thing is some pre-workout. Um, I got some bucked up Woke AF Aussie Fruit pre-workout here. Um, this bucked up is expensive, but you can get any kind of pre-workout, whatever your favorite is, whatever you use every day. This one's got 333 milligrams caffeine. Um, you can check it out if you, uh, I'll put it in the description. I don't know if YouTube will let me have a clickable link, but um, either way you can copy and paste it and go to it. They make protein, um, they have different kinds of shirts and clothes and different kinds of energy shots, protein bars, um, but pre-workout is the second thing. The third thing I have in my bag is just some creatine monohydrate. Um, you can have whatever brand you want, just unflavored creatine monohydrate. Um, you take this every day. I didn't never realize this one does have 20 calories in it. I'm not sure if the other ones do or not. Uh, this one just come from Walmart. Five grams of it, scoop it in a bottle, put it in with your pre-workout. You won't taste it at all. Uh, it'll help you build muscle and um, it holds the water in your muscles so you have more energy throughout your workouts. So it'll help you build some more muscle. Um, it's just a simple thing, but it'll help you a lot in the long run. The fourth thing that I have in my gym bag is, um, as you might have seen in my recent push video that I did, I have some elbow sleeves. They just go on your arms, they, uh, they kind of give support to your elbows and help you push a little bit more weight maybe. Um, but overall, they're not a need, but they definitely help. Leading off with the elbow sleeves, I have the same brand. Um, some knee sleeves and these will definitely help you a lot when you're squatting um, if you can only get one thing of sleeves I would recommend getting knee sleeves before getting elbow sleeves uh, just because especially when you're squatting squatting is very hard on the knees um, so these these will help give your knees um, some pressure and it'll, it'll uh, take some of the weight off your knees and uh, help your knees over time keep you from destroying them. Um, can't think what I'm on to. What are we on? Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Sixth thing, wrist wraps. These wrist wraps, I just got some Jim Reaper ones. I don't know. I think they were like 14 or 15 bucks maybe off Amazon. These just go around your wrist. You can check them out in my latest video too. Uh, they just keep your wrist straight, support your wrist if you're benching, any pressing movements, overhead press movements. Um, 
even deadlifts, they might give you a little bit more um, strength maybe in your grip when you're doing that. But otherwise, um, these things um, I would definitely recommend getting. Alright, so for our seventh thing, I got some lifting straps. Now these, um, I don't use a lot. Um, they were one of the first things I bought just because I was still kind of new to lifting. I had really no clue. All I knew was that I was struggling to hold my grip on deadlift and uh, that was before I discovered mixed grip on deadlift. So I bought these to help. I didn't realize at the time they weren't allowed in powerlifting competitions. So that's the reason I don't use them at all. Um, the only time I use these babies is if I'm doing very, very high reps and don't want to destroy my hands before the rest of my workout. Um, but you can also use them on like lat pull downs or uh, shrugs if you're doing them. Or if you're rowing some really heavy weight and you have bad calluses like I get sometimes, these will definitely help you. For the eighth thing, you guys are going to think this is kind of disgusting and then you're going to be like, why do you keep these in, my in your gym bag? Don't worry, they are clean. I keep uh, very tall socks with me at all times in my gym bag. Um, because especially when I'm deadlifting and stuff, I use a deadlifting bar. So sometimes when I come down from doing deadlifts, I hit my shins and my shins start to bleed a little bit. So I always keep these in my bag, especially because they, uh, when I power lift, I like us to have them in the competitions. And I keep a few extra pairs, so um, if anybody doesn't have a pair of socks, then they can use some of mine and I'll make sure I wash them afterwards. But uh, otherwise, I have, otherwise, you probably have no other need to keep socks in your gym bag unless you have really, really sweaty feet. And if you do, that's disgusting. For the ninth thing, you're going to be like, this is like one of the most common things. Like, why would you even show us? Well, because some people forget and... Um, also, here's a reminder, charge your uh, your earbuds. That's the ninth thing. Earbuds or headphones, whatever you like to use. You need some kind of music. Music just makes all kinds of, wor all workouts better, uh, gives you more motivation. Sometimes you even lift more. Like if you're PRing or something and you don't have your music, it could screw your whole PR up. Usually, um, it's just a blame that somebody uses if they don't have music and they fill their PR. They blame it on not having music. But sometimes it does help you a little bit. For the 10th thing, cell phone charger. Make sure you always got one of these babies with you because you never know when your phone is going to get low, either playing music or recording videos or your AirPods are going to die because especially when your music dies, that is the worst thing in the gym. Like it just throws off your whole workout. So make sure you have a charger with you at all times. When I started, I didn't have a charger with me, and sometimes my AirPods were dead. It threw off the whole day. Make sure you have a charger. All right, for the 11th thing, this is kind of useless. I don't, I've never used it, and I probably will not conti will continue to not use it. It's a cooling towel. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't have one of these if it wasn't for going to one of the powerlifting meets and then giving us a little bag full of goodies and it having a cooling towel in it. Otherwise, I would never use one of these things. Um, some people use them and they like them. Personally, I'd rather just go stand in front of a fan um, or an AC. But otherwise, cooling towels. <sighs> For the, uh, what is this, 11? 11 or 12, I don't know, I lost count. This one so many people need to try to remember, other than that they just don't take a shower. <gasps> Some people come into the gym and they smell like they just stepped out of a sewer tank. It is nasty. Um, and it just ruins the whole day, honestly. For those of you that don't wear deodorant, or not forget to take a shower, but literally do not take a shower, please, save the rest of us headaches and just buy some of this three bucks you can get a stick of deodorant stick it on a little bit in your armpits maybe on the rest of your whole body because you stink it's not just your armpits 
and just save us all the headache. It smells so good. You guys can't smell it, but I can. Just, this is a necessity. All right, so I counted on to the 13th thing. Now this you probably don't have to have in your gym bag, but I do. It comes with, uh, with the scale. Just the measuring tape. I keep it to measure these pythons here, and uh, that's pretty much it. So it's like a, it's pretty much like a mini bodybuilding competition with my friend when we pull this out. Otherwise, I have no use for it, but I keep it in my bag just for the sake and fun of it. Number 14. I'm not exactly sure why I bought this. And I used it once, I'll probably never use it again. A slingshot. Um, this pretty much, most people probably don't know what a slingshot is. If they can figure out how to put it on. I think it goes like this. No, because then it'd be like that. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a little slow. But it goes on across your chest like this. And then when you bench, it stretches it across and kind of forces that weight up. So like, my max on bench is 200. If I use this, I could probably do 215. So, um, that's all this does. I don't really, I've never been able to find anything on it that says it builds extra muscle. All I see that it does is make you bench more when really you shouldn't get used to that. Because if you're doing powerlifting or something, especially if you're doing powerlifting, why, why do you want this? Because you can't use it in competition. 15. Sensi pack. Um, this one's Amazon Rain. Uh, I wouldn't use Sensi, but my mom sells it. So I get it for free. Uh, she just gives me these. They smell really awesome and they last for like a, quite a long time. So I just throw it in my gym bag. It smells it, uh, keeps it smelling pretty fresh. I had a pine one in there not too long ago. And every time I would put my uh, sleeves in there, and they were a little bit sweaty. They dry up and absorb that pine smell. They smelled like pine trees. It was like Christmas morning every morning or every time that I opened up my gym bag and put on my sleeves. It was amazing. Oh, so many people. So many people. I just do not know why they buy, don't buy their own belt. Like it is one of the best investments for the gym. So number 16, I think it is. Last but not least, a belt. These things will save your back so much. Um, I didn't cheap out. I bought one with a flippy lever on Amazon. I don't know. I think it was like 70 bucks. 13 millimeter. Um, power lifting. Make, if you're doing power lifting, make sure it's USPA approved. So you can use it. Um, all it does pretty much is go around you like this and save your back when you're doing squatting or deadlifting or any other movement that you might want to have it so you don't hurt your back. Some people use it on bench. I did once or twice. Some I didn't really see much of a difference with it. But um just if you don't have a belt, just order one. Like please. Spare us all the rest of the belts that are at the gym. Just let other other people that are starting use them. If you are an experienced lifter, you gotta get your own belt. So that'll pretty much wrap up my uh, gym bag review. Thank you all for watching. Um, I tried to make this video a little bit more funny because my, my workout videos, I feel that they're kind of bland. Don't be afraid to let me know if they are or not because I want to know your guys' true feelings because I'm doing this for you guys, not for me. So if I'm making them and they suck, please let me know. I will try my best to make them better. I know that they're kind of long. Uh, I try to cut back on them, but I can't stop myself from talking, as you might be able to see here. But otherwise, see y'all.